Hi guys, this is uh, a new beginning, final cut. A new beginning, final cut. So, uh, uh, tell me something about this game and everyone else, because I have no idea what I'm starting here. It's a point and click adventure game. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm really fan of point and click games. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I was like, just go ahead and I will start with it and I'll see. And um, so I did, and I played it, and, um, and I, was, I was yeah, I was really hooked. But it's not a game that many people know about, so it's. Well, I'm, uh, I'm really interested in being forced to watch this. No, it's, <laughs> it's not really true. It sounds really terrible. Uh, I, I, I've seen quite a few, uh, a, a tiny bit of the game. It looks interesting, so. I was also kind of like, well, let's try it out then. So we have a new game with this guy. And well, we she's not sure about continuing whatsoever. No, no, I don't think so too. Let's start a new game. Okay, then. sure. Keeping an eye on the watch, Private. It starts off with Space Guys. 300 seconds and not a second to spare. And don't forget, never look directly into the well, sun. Well, it's voice uh, acted. Seconds left. Damn it. Looks like my measuring equipment is broken. No, I'm afraid. I'm afraid it's working perfectly fine. 240 seconds left. We just received news from Antarctica, Machu Picchu, and Eastern Oceania. Their measurements match ours. We're expecting a solar flare similar to the Oswald flare from 2113 within the next two weeks. We all know that the terrestrial magnetic field can't protect us from a flare of the scale anymore. Our time is up. It's not too late yet, Quadi. We still have a chance. Well, yeah, what about the Phoenix plan? We could escape. The Phoenix plan is not an evacuation plan, Hardy. Quite the opposite. No. Salvador is right. A manipulation is our last chance. What are they talking about? Hmm. Is the security of our pilots provided for by now? Nigel, we are looking at certain death for every living thing in two weeks. We don't have a choice, I'm afraid. It's time we dare to take the final step. Step back to the past. So, start of the game. Well, now, <laughs> yeah. So, interesting story giant solar flare popping up like yeah. a bee arch. Destroying earthly earth. End of humanity is near. But they're going back. In going time. Back. So this is the prologue. Well, oh. prologue. It's so like I said, it's voice acted. Yeah. So everything is probably. Look, it's uh, a Pokemon. <laughs> it's uh, pigeon. Uh, uh, it's yeah, pigeon. <laughs> pigeon. Curse it. Not again. I hope I have enough spare parts. I see your first quest coming up. Yeah, it's basically uh, <sighs> So we're this guy. Does it. Okay then. Let's see what's wrong with this thing. Do is an introduction into the controls. I will do no because I know somehow how so to you, move. You already know how to move? Basically, yeah. It's always fun if you uh, play the game two years ago, think you know everything and then forgot everything. It's uh, possible, but I, I think I'm, uh, I'm able to do it. So uh, activating the fogger is not uh, of any Sounds use. like something is wrong with the motor. There yeah, we go. Right, something is wrong. Like... So are there any other interesting... I have a tree over here. Okay, I will climb the tree. I will just climb the tree because... Uh, it might be... <laughs> 
and so do I. <laughs> Might be weird to say, but um, since you already played it, right? Yeah. Isn't it like very unhandy for you to play it again? Like, since you probably Things already know the answers to every the wood, puzzle, isn't it? Um, no, be, it, it has sometimes uh, hard uh, puzzles, I think. Yeah, but like for, a, for example this, you probably already know, for an instance, how the fogger is activated. No, not it's two years ago. I'm not pretty sure if I know everything. Uh... No, the fishing rod won't solve any of my problems, even if <laughs> Dr. Angus says otherwise. Mm. So, lakeside house. Looks cool. Huh? We have a fish trap, a boat. It's interesting looking things over here. There's probably not too many people Garbage. around no, where he lives. He's a quiet loner. He's like a, a hermit. With a tele television. Chaos in the streets of Oslo. At 11 o'clock this morning, violent protesters stormed the European headquarters of the International Energy Inspection Agency. They protested the planned renewal of licenses for a total of seven power plants operated by the controversial energy corporation Indes Industries. During the protests, some militant participants even managed to take hostages. A spokesman of the agency. We were open to peaceful dialogue right from the beginning. But the current situation forces us to take drastic measures. The activists must understand that they can't force political decision making with their illegal and extremist actions. If their actions have any impact on the decision at all, it will be a negative one. Meanwhile, the first injured are taken away and the police are preparing for a long night. So it will probably be one of the longest nights in an otherwise peaceful And the world keeps turning without me. <laughs> I hope this isn't some kind of happy dippy nature free kind of point and click game, right? I'm not sure. Oh, the sure, bottles sure. are still here. But then who else but me should take them away? Sometimes Dr. Angus comes for a visit. That's well, why that's, I have a second chair. That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice, huh? <clears throat> so... He does not get a lot I'll of, a lot of visitors. Let's check the refrigerator. Well, there would be probably be a nice cold beer inside. A sad <laughs> There's <laughs> probably not much so, inside there. So cool. A sad sight. And Take the oil for the fun cool. of it. You know, because engine else? and oil. Open the cupboard. Let's he only it. holds the basics. Oh, okay, so... sir. What's his name? What shall we call him? He looks like a bit I'll grumpy old hermit kind of guy. Yeah. What would be a fitting name for him? Um. Uh, let's see. Did you think of a nice name? Yeah, I will. In a moment. <laughs> I but... should do that, but not today. <laughs> That's so he's so funny. <laughs> my bed at first i tried to sleep in the bed meta and i share then i moved to duva's bunk my son takes care of my life's work and i sleep in his old childhood bed well okay so he has a son and a wife i guess or had a wife yeah and hey, still is a hermit let's look at the painting so his... on the atlas 11. <laughs> We really thought the future of the world was resting on our shoulders. Bent. I look tired, but happy. So his name is Bent. Yeah, but that's not the name we give him. So what do you I want I don't like him? Bent. So we have this well, guy. What the hell? Personnel. Oh, I thought her name was Personnel. <laughs> no, no, there's no like way. three Personnel. Barney, Lisa and Duva. Don't look like that, boy. You can do all those things now your dad didn't allow when you were younger. He'll make it. I don't know. Does he have a hoodie on, or does he have? <laughs> it's, the, it's the hair. Wow. It's Lisa. Double S. Lisa. I'll manage somehow. And Barney. Not a photo for the press, obviously. If it were, <laughs> Barney would look completely different. Um, I was thinking about just na naming him Charles, but I don't Charles. think it's fitting now. Vacation to Italy. Meta beamed like always, and all I had on my mind was probably how to save the world. I wonder if we could have been happy if I had focused on our relationship instead of on our planet's future. <sighs> well, I'm so sorry, Meta. I sacrificed both of us in the end for a vision no one even cared about. 
So, he's a real bender, isn't he? He is. Okay, now let's try the oil on the machine thingy, because I think that's the ticket. We also have a second door to check out. Mm, yeah, but oil is probably enough. Let's check out. So I have oil. Rapeseed oil. Until some years ago, it was only good for lamp oil. Today we use it as salad dressing and to prove the bad energy balance of biofuels. Oh, sorry. I thought I can. Yeah. The rust on the hull isn't the problem. No. It's the mechanism that isn't working. Exactly. There's the no rust on the hull. No, it's the mechanism that isn't working. There's no. Yep. I see it. So you need to open the thing up first because it's. Oh, there, there we go. We go. Aha. So that's see? the problem. The belt tour. But where can oh. we get a new one? So, oil it. Uh, Maybe it can still be fixed. Mm -hmm. You can use the... seed oil. Oh, it's so gone. We use and to prove Let, let's thing. let's just go over the details. What do we have now? We have a broken engine, right? Yeah, we already know the dialogue. Yeah, but I, know, I want to drag it down here, but it's possible, impossible. I see. Looks okay. Yeah, that looks okay. That I think we settled that the belt torn. That's our main concern and yeah. probably the issue. Yep. So the chances that the oil is gonna work anyway is pretty slim. Yep. If you ask me. Just just thinking way beyond the mechanics of the game, of course. I'm going way deeper into this. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's Yo, probably yeah. an old bike tire inside the lake. Let's check at the garbage over here. That's part of living near the water these days. Wow. I would have done that once. But it will not even take a week before it looks like this again. Okay. The cisphene labor. Fish trap. It still really smells like a hippy dippy nature. I've already tried everything. Okay. But I really have so no far. Use for this thing. This boat has seen better times, but it's still floating. Like, like, I, I don't really want to uh, bad mouth this game, but, but I can. Mausoleum of a mm -hmm. I, I can, I can make some dialogue up here, like. Find spare parts for my fogger. Oh. Hold on. It's like. Oh. Oh, look at that. The bad corporations are at it again. Or, or, or something like. Uh... Oh, I come up with more lines when we <laughs> play the game, because yeah. I already know what's well. going to happen here. It's locked. The plan was to leave everything behind. That day, I was so drunk, I don't even remember where I hid the key. Then, well, I heard that why would you hide a key anyway? He already told that he was so drunk at a party while he was uh, while we were looking yeah, at the paint. Actively hiding it, like putting it somewhere where you don't remember where it is. Okay, but hiding it. There's some alcohol over here, so. Let's check at this point. Yeah, I already did see it because it's back there. That looks suspiciously like. Well, well. Look hey. what I found. A key. I don't even remember hiding it here. Was I really that drunk? I think so. I don't know. Maybe. That Mr. Benz. <laughs> I don't know. I still think we should rename him to something else. But Charles is not the name. The key to my old life. You can't get rid of some things as easily as you would like to. I think I can drag it, right? Well, it's locked. Nope. The plan was to leave everything behind. You I know that I drag and, can drag but and why move, don't you but... click it and then move your cursor? Yeah, that's it. How long haven't I been down here? It's that's just, it. I'm not really a Mac no. person, but that would make the most sense. True. Okay, let's take a look. What do we have here? Oh, it's, uh... Let's see what is all this. We only need a tire, right? It's already hanging over there. That would be I it. I can't take it. So... Then... The latch door. Open it. I didn't okay. want them to get in my way when I was working. Of course, of course. But now we're finding a tire for your engine. See, there they are. Bicycle. <laughs> 
We made a tour down the fjord, along the coast, and down to the sea. At that time, the Atlas was being renovated, and while I was waiting for new assignments, I had all the time in the world to be a good dad. It's strange how things mm -hmm. change. Okay, so... I just wanna take... Bicycle tube. Not just without myself. proper tools. I wanted to be a good dad, but then I had to sit in front of nuclear power plants to protest against them with my pals. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> How many summer nights did Wait, I didn't you grab a tire? Or did you already no, grab I a tire? No, I can't. <laughs> Why not? Did I really he didn't have the like proper tools. The oh, I wasn't paying attention. Okay. The temptation is great. There's tools in the toolbox, the right? And Dr. Angus to enjoy my retirement. So he can't work. <laughs> So, one thing of point-and-click games is generally that you have to do the stupidest things to make things work. That's like true. Like, take uh, Grim Fandango, or for example, uh... uh the symbolism yeah. is disquieting. On the other hand, Day of the Tentacle. To 12 for true. Eternity is better than the clock striking midnight someday. I'm trying to... Not cross his lines. Studies about photosynthesis. Construction plans for greenhouses, chemical, chemical data. data. Them all by heart. Yeah, but that now you have to make up your own lines, like I do. It's not that you repeat him, because that's not that's that's. Of course, he's also a nature hippie dippy do fact. Mm -hmm. But but he, we we are pretending to be him, so we have to come up with our own lines. <laughs> Just do. I mean, like like. Uh, yeah, the lights with can <laughs> switch can come in. And I I. I I could be a good dad, but I, I kept hugging trees instead. <laughs> you need something like that. Attempt. <laughs> so, I, I mean, we should be able to uh, rip off the bicycle tube with some. No, because you want a whole tube, not, not a good part of it. Let's spray on some oil. Shame, but who would ride it? We! We would ride it. No, we're not gonna. Because we're nature dads. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could have bought a car, but I like to ride my bicycle instead. <laughs> so, what now? Oh, Lini's rapeseed oil. Uh, How can we fix this Well, thing? grab the tools that uh, were in the drawer. Drawer? Yeah. There? Well, this is a laboratory, right? With a chair in the middle. A dresser. Open. Open. There we go. There we go. Didn't you try that before? Uh, no. No? Search. Hey. Okay. Well, there driving. we are. I take it. Did yes. I play it or did you play it? I'm uh, confused I now. Know. I could have used a screwdriver, but I like branches instead. There we go. <laughs> Whoa. The great corporations and their stupid helicopters. <laughs> Crap. How? That's the stupidest <laughs> thing I've ever seen. <laughs> yes, that would be Swenson, me. that is a good name. Swenson. It's just his first name. Maybe you could tell me what you were doing sneaking around this place. It's completely unoriginal, but I think his first name is Sven. Gave me quite a yeah. fright. I didn't intend to. Are you Ben Svensson? Yes, I am, but... What? Uh, no, no, no. We, we have to go... Is that your heli- yeah, yeah, I want the helicopter question because yeah. I, I want to break it down. It belongs to a friend, I think. Oh. What, what do, you, do need? you need? I need your help. I wanted to burn to out the place that I am retired. But it's very, very important. No, no, we don't no. want- All right, but let me finish my work first. I hate to leave a job undone. Exactly. Yes. Please wait a second, I'm busy right now. Please, wait a second. Busy right now. But the sooner no. you let me finish my work, the sooner exactly. I will have time for you. I wanna burn down with words that helicopter, like Can we? No no no, you I wanted to, to talk to her, like like is that your helicopter? That's don't might be in there. It is none of my business. Don't wanna... don't click when I'm talking. Uh, eh. <laughs> No, it's more like you, you, you talk to her and say, don't come here with a helicopter, because it's bad for the trees and nature. <laughs> I wanted to say that. But, uh, yeah, you couldn't. No, that was really too bad, actually. Uh, look at no, no. Let's see. What can I do? Yeah, you have to look now? at it first. There oh, there's go. the tire. 
Too long. You have to shorten it. How? I'll try the tube. Can't you first. cross it? Oh, the tube. Not working. That'd be a waste of time. A belt needs friction to work. Exactly. That's that's stupid. Belt, also, the screw is loose. Do you know that? Yeah. Maybe you want to tighten the screw. Even if the screwdriver was still sound, the screw thread is down the drain. Okay. No. However, it's still so stupid that the screwdriver is broken. That is bullshit. It's useless. Away with it. There we go. There. Oh, you can fit another. It fits. There we nice go. One. That's what I meant. That's why the screwdriver had Perfect to break. Thing. It had to break. And this is exactly what I mean with, with point and click games. Stupid that things. you have to there there there's stupid <laughs> fixes know. for stupid yes. things and it's it's awesome. I know. So let's activate this motherfucker. I don't know if the yeah. Yes. What no, no, it still made the same sound. Didn't what you now? listen to the first time? One of the discs is blocked. That would explain why the belt tore. Exactly. So what do we need to do now? Well, the, he talked about the discs. So? We need to find where the discs are. And I see a lever or a rotator thingy right uh, there. You can't do anything over there. You can't? Okay then. So it should be somewhere. No, we don't want to activate it. I know. This is awesome. Are you gonna go back to the main menu just to see the picture? It's just that I wanted to do escape on the dialogue, so <laughs> and, and then I go is into the main waiting. menu. But <laughs> we are not done yet. No, she can wait more. I will just no. Woman. I will talk to her. No. Yes. We're not done yet. Okay. Please, wait a second. I'm busy right it's now. nice to say it twice, right? <laughs> it's like you start the conversation <laughs> and then you're going to say, shut up, woman, I am I'm busy. busy. It's, I that's, like that's it. That's nice. <laughs> so now, what hear? is a disc in this device, do you think? Would it be a flywheel? I don't know. Like to keep, to keep it going? I don't know. One of the discs is Thor. Ah! Oh! There's a disc on the helicopter. It's a satellite <laughs> disc. <laughs> Definitely that one. Do you, do you imagine him ripping it off just for his own fun? Fucking. Ah, oh, coffee. That's not gonna work. There's a D. No, 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 no. Let's see. You need some sort of hammer or something to. Away tomorrow. Yeah, that doesn't. I know you're kind of like a clean freak when it comes to point-and-click yeah, yeah, adventures. Yeah, that's true. I like that. He, he, really, if if Sefik like if Sefik is ways out of workaholism. You you clicking work. again while I'm talking? Listen, listen. Oh, listen to that. He has a book. One thousand recipes. One thousand recipes. By Frida Runheim. Dr. Angus believes it will lighten my view on the oil crisis. I think that's so right. too. But but I'm talking. Why are you Why clicking? Are I the, the key, key to, to a happy life. life. By Bjorn, Boland, putting your Bjorn, he's a Bjorn. I know, but he's Sven. Okay. Anyway, let's go. I don't know why you want to clean everything in point and click adventures. It's That's like nice. if there's an oil spot on the floor or like the stuff here in the water. It's like Sefik is annoyed. He looks annoyed. Yeah, um, but good in a good way. In a good way, cause pretty good way. Cleaning things in point and click games solves things. Most of the time. In this do. particular case, however, we yeah. need to fix a disc. I know. Where and is the, the disc? disc? Would be somewhere. Yeah, well, know. you know what my problem is here. We haven't even seen the disc yet. No. That's we have true. not accessed that part of the machine yet. That's true. So, so our priority would be seeing the broken set broken disc to check if it's actually okay. broken. So we're going up there. Because you know what I think personally? No. That the oil is used to, to, to lubricate the disc. So let's go and look at the motor again. Mm hmm. And then we're gonna. Well, or would it be that disc? The big one? It's completely rusted. Okay. There we go. There. See the small one too? Grab some new oil, or did you use all of no, it? I think I think he used all of it, so it should be uh, 
Should be all right. Should right. be all right. That should do the trick. There we go. It makes the same noise uh, again. Damn it! Someone has to hold the shutter to keep the stupid screwdriver from popping out again. Someone. So we need to ask. Oh, the girl. That motherfucker. Hey, do woman. you want to help me? Also, I'm not gonna help you. That makes sense, right? Yeah. He's Definitely. not gonna do anything at all until he fixed this problem. Yep. She can help him fix. Or you need a rope. Left. Left. Let me check. I could use, I your, help. use your help. Is that really important? I don't have much time. Yeah, if we don't. Really want my help. Okay, okay, fine. Yes. What do you want me to See? do? Just come up here. There we go. He, he knows how to bring women in, huh? Yeah, he knows how to do. What's this machine for? The fogger keeps the wood fresh until winter. I need what? you over here. You must push down this shutter while I operate the switch over there. Do you think you can do that? Of course. I'm ready. Well then. The fogger keeps the <laughs> forest fresh for the winter. Is that so, mister? Don't want to spoil the fog now, do we? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> what? Buy a bit of smoke and see it's hippie dippy shit. Calm down, please. It's working as intended. What are you doing? Are you mad? Turn off the machine right now! Oh my god, the one bird. bird one bird to save the entire forest for the winter. <laughs> I mean I'm very sorry, but she should oh, shut up. Well, Coming here with a giant helicopter. These things happen. Yep. But there's no alternative if you want to get rid of the vermin. And I need the wood for heating. Oh my god. Oh, I'm angry. She has a helicopter! You're so stupid. Oh, great. I've got a visit from Miss Hypersensitivity. <laughs> I like this guy. He doesn't give a fuck, does he? No, he doesn't. But yeah. the, the other shit around it in this game are super hippy dippy nature. A little bit. But he's really sarcastic about it, so it's kind of funny. Okay. Generic answer to every problem. Huh? Throw the key at her. <laughs> Can I? I hope it lands in her eye. Can you believe this? The items in my basement yeah, you. are my business and mine alone. So, girl, what do you have to say? Oh come on! What's with all this fuss? Maybe she wrong. buries the bird. Help me after all. You know how many birds help she killed by those wings in the helicopter? I am yeah. tired. I don't help anyone anymore. Exactly. Oh, don't look so sad. Maybe it would be best. <coughs> what? Ah, uh, she's you? dying herself. I need water. Jesus! What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't believe it. She really buried the bird, like a little girl. <laughs> there she's puking like blood. And Can't you like... just leave her here and take the helicopter yourself? I need water. Give her vodka. That could be nice. You know, it looks like water until you take the first sip and then it's too late. She's dead too, you can bury oh, her. We have a phone oh. call. What now? <laughs> we have a bleeding That's woman a... downstairs. No bent. This is Dr. Angus speaking. You sound a bit stressed out. It's a bad time. I have a visitor. Uh, uh, uh. What did I tell you about stress? <laughs> She's true. Please, Doc. The woman doesn't feel well. She has a seizure. Or... We talked about this a thousand times, Bent. <laughs> Your do-gooder complex even earned you a stay in the hospital. You are not responsible for the whole world. What? But exactly. Please repeat. I am not responsible for the whole world. <laughs> uh, well, what the... <laughs> yeah, so I, just... yeah, sure. I am not responsible for the whole world. <laughs> That's it. Now, exactly. get some rest. Why don't you go fishing? Yeah. Because yeah. I don't want to be part of the overfishing of the seas. Uh, uh, uh. What did I tell Ex you? I like these people. I am not responsible for <laughs> the whole world. Just remember that. I'll call you tomorrow. So long. Yes, so long. Later. There we go. Bye. Okay. Perfect. Now, about you. 
Damn, that's uh, handy to have a second seat now, isn't it's it? It's quite handy. Why don't you tell me what brings you here? She is so one with what nature. What brings me here? Okay. Mutual trust. My name is Faye. I am a time travel pilot. Faye. Confrontation. I come from the future. Mankind is facing extinction. What's well, if they're all like you, they could go extinct. What are you talking about? Yeah. And what is that note for? Guidelines for trans-temporal contacting. I told them I couldn't do this. <laughs> no. Are you serious? Salvador was right. Talk is useless. Awesome. Oh, please. Give me a break. Fine. You are from the future. <laughs> or from the Muppet Show. But what's that got to do with me? What do you want from me? Your research. Nonsense. In my time, mankind is dying. We're not gonna help Animals you. are dying. Trees. The whole world is dying. Yeah. Your research could prevent that. I'm not responsible for the whole world. <laughs> oh, but you are. Exactly. Actually, you are the only one who can help me. The only one who can stop the worst from happening. You, Bent. And you alone are responsible for the whole world. <laughs> You can't know that, but in 500 years from today, the world is a wasteland. Everything is destroyed. The surface uninhabitable. The last survivors live in bunkers below ground and mankind teeters on the brink of extinction. Well, that's fascinating. Do you believe me? Yes. Yes, of course. That's the team. See? Well, guys. Well, guys. This is uh, the end of the this first, is the first episode. episode of a new beginning. Hope you like it. Bye-bye. <laughs>